I started looking on the internet as one does for time travel experiences <laughs> and I uh, came across an internship at Old Path Page. And part of what was promoted was that you could do this history internship. There was a history internship and an acting internship. And the history one was you could live there for a period of time and kind of become a character in the village, which very much appealed to me. I applied to both of them and somehow got both of them. So that's how I ended up there that summer. So you were living there during that experience? Not at the time that Conan came, but later on. Yeah, we got to stay there and like stuff our own mattresses with straw and milk the cow every morning and build fires and bake bread. And yeah, it was very, you had to do it like a, you couldn't do anything that wasn't in accord with the time. So like the outhouse was the outhouse. No way. That was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and were you the same character throughout the whole experience or were you switching off? When you guys came, it was the very, very beginning of the internship. So we hadn't even started doing the research to develop the characters. So that character was just improvised for that day. Um, and the character that I ended up working on was kind of a riff on that character. Yeah. Who I was, who I got to be every day. And were you aware of Conan at all prior to that shoot? Uh, not much. I knew I knew his name. I knew he was on television. I don't think I'd ever watched the program. I still don't own the TV, so I'm yeah. <laughs> I I knew he existed, um, but I didn't know much about him. What did they tell you when they were actually coming to the village? Like, were you aware days ahead of time? Or? I think it was just the night before, like the evening. We were told that he might be coming. And that we might be like background. And what was the energy at the village that day? Oh, very much excitement. Yeah. People were very excited. And I, mm, do I say this? I'm not sure. You have to say it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know if that was a like, I'm going to not care, like strategically not care because I don't want to care or if I really didn't. I don't know. So did they just come take over with cameras? I can't remember at what point in the day it occurred. I think it was towards the end of the day. I remember there being a buzz about it. And then at some point we were asked to come over because they were possibly going to film the um, baseball team. And what were your first thoughts of Conan when you saw him? He was marvelous. I mean, brilliant. Just so in tune with everything that was going on and able to respond to it. Yeah, I had I had no idea what to expect. So that was just it's such a pleasure to watch. And you have experience as a performer. What was it like performing with him like that? I'm uneasy with the sentence that I have experience as a performer, <laughs> but I love theater and I had, you know, studied it as a student. The sense of play and responsiveness was just very joyful. Yeah, I mean, you killed it and you felt so uh, perfectly like in the character. Was that difficult to stay kind of in that reality? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think you can see there are moments that it's like, oh, that's I'm laughing. I'm laughing because he's very funny. And then try to try to get back. 